Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Hello, it's time to warm up our voices. So stand up, please. Show me what a great singer looks like. Make sure your hands are to your side and your feet are shoulder width apart and you are standing up tall with good posture. Excellent. Let's get started. Loud Soft Adventure. Buzz and Ollie went out to play. It seemed to be just a usual day. Buzz said to Ollie, what shall we do? To which Ollie replied, it's all up to you. We could stay here at home, but dad is asleep. We could only use soft voices or not even make a peep. 
I want to go someplace where I have a choice. I don't want to talk softly. I like my loud voice. How about the park? There's lots of noise there. We can whisper or shout and no one will care. Off to the park, they went in a flash, but before they could get there, they heard a loud crash. They turned rather quickly the cause of the noise to see what made the crash. Oh, what could it be? There by the car that crashed into a tree was one little kitten, no two, no three. Each little kitten covered with bright orange fur seemed to say, I'm frightened with every soft purr. The lady from the car knew just what to do. In a nice soft voice, she said, I'll care for you. Buzz and Ollie went on their way, knowing that the kittens would soon be okay. There were so many sounds when they got to the park. They heard a loud noise. It was a dog's bark. The dog named Forte followed them all around. He barked and he yelped and he knocked Ollie down. His owner called him back as he threw, uh, yes. You see one of our symbols? Where? There it is. That symbol. Looks like that symbol. Hmm, I wonder what it means. Let's keep reading to find out. His owner called him back as he threw the dog a ball. The man shouted, here boy, and he responded to the call. Hmm, that fancy F there. Well, the dog's holding it and the dog he was barking, right? Was, was he barking loudly or softly? Right, loudly. Um, and, oh, the man shouted, here boy. Well, when the man shouted, do you think that was loud or soft? Loud. So maybe this F means loud? We'll find out in a little bit. Buzz and Ollie continued to play. They were having the most wonderful day when all of a sudden before their eyes, they came upon a great surprise. Just up ahead was a hole big and round and out of that hole there came a soft sound. Listen, Ollie, do you hear that? There's a cave in there. Maybe it's a bat. I want to find out what that noise could be. I'm going to go in. Will you go in with me? Buzz and Ollie carefully slipped out of sight. It sure was lucky Buzz had his flashlight. They tiptoed in, not making a sound. Still hearing a noise, they looked around, and all of a sudden, just straight ahead, was a baby bear all snug in his bed. Now the noise was louder than before, but soon they realized it was just the bear's snore. Ollie said to Buzz, boy, this is great. I've never seen a bear hibernate. Just as she said that, Buzz dropped the light. It made such a noise the bear woke with a fright and all of a sudden that soft little snore turned into a giant baby bear roar. The roar was so loud the cave began to shake and soon it was clear daddy bear was awake. He jumped from his bed to check on his son. Buzz and Ollie really wanted to run they said, we're so sorry, we just came to play. Our light made the noise, we're sad to say. Then Baby Bear saw there was nothing to fear. He climbed from his bed and started walking near. Buzz smiled and said, I'm Buzz and that's Ollie. Baby Bear answered, hello, my name is Wally. Then Wally asked Dad, 
Can I play with my friends? We promise to be quiet. We won't wake you again. We'll be so careful not to make any noise. We'll talk in a whisper as we play with our toys. Daddy Bear said, I suppose it's all right. Just remember that for bears, it's the middle of the night. Buzzing up. What did you say? You saw another music symbol? Where? Oh, I see it too. Let's see if we can figure out what it means. Buzz and Ollie often visit the cave. They play there with Wally and they always behave. They sometimes say to Wally, what shall we do? To which Wally replies, it's all up to you. They just play in his home when daddy's asleep. They use their soft voices and don't make a peep. <gasps> They're playing, right? Well, are they playing loudly? Or are they playing softly? Hmm. Softly. That's right. That's so that they don't wake up Daddy Bear. So, this peep, like this one, might mean soft. This book had lots of loud and soft sounds in it, right? And you found both music symbols. I am impressed. So let's talk about them. We first saw this symbol on that piece of cloth that the dog was holding in his mouth. And we talked about this. We said the dog barked loudly and the man shouted to the dog loudly, right? Well, this F means Forte. Can you say that big word? Forte. And forte means loud. Forte is the musical word for loud. So the dog barking was forte. And the man shouting was forte. Now, let's look at this P. Well, you found that on the very last page. And remember, Buzz, Ollie, and Wally were all playing in Wally's home, but they had to play very softly. That's right. That's so Daddy Bear didn't wake up. So, this P in music stands for piano. Can you say piano? And in music, piano means Soft. So repeat after me. Forte. Piano. For your activity in Seesaw, you are going to tell me what this music symbol and this music symbol mean. Don't forget to think back to Buzz and Ollie's loud, soft adventure. I can't wait to see your work. Thank you for joining me.